Strokes gain driving is all about distance. It has a strong bias to driving distance. If the closer to the green we are, the shorter sh approach shots we have, the easier it is to improve our proximity and therefore lower our scores. So how do we hit the ball further? Well, realistically, the more linear travel, the more movement your golf club has, the bigger the arc, the further you're gonna be able to hit the golf ball and you're gonna generate more ball speed. Now, how does that happen? Well, if we take a look at the population that hits the ball the furthest, it's the long drive population. And if you look at those ladies and men, they do some things that are different to the average golfer, but you're starting to see some of those trends leak into the best players on the LPGA and the PGA Tour. So what are they doing? Well, a couple of things that are musts. In order for us to get the club to travel further, we wanna do a couple of things. Number one, the traditional, very compact, restricted golf swing is going to be very limited when it comes to generating speed and distance. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna encourage you to let your body turn, a big free turn. We don't wanna be restricting anything. So this lead leg, we want this lead leg to roll. We want it to come off of the ground. That's gonna allow your lower body to start to turn behind the golf ball. We also want you to elongate or extend your lower body so that you start to sort of stand up almost. The concept of maintaining your posture is wonderful if you're trying to flight down a distance wedge and put the club on the ball very consistently, maintaining a consistent dynamic loft. But when it comes to smashing this thing, hitting up on the ball, we want the ability to extend and turn in the backswing. One of the things that also helps that is trying to allow our arms, our arms can bend. It's totally necessary to maintain a really long arc width to let the arm bend so that you can get a bigger turn and the club can travel further. The longer the swing, the more linear travel, the more energy you can generate with your golf swing. So you want to unweight your front foot. You want to allow for a big turn. You want the club to travel a long way. So now you're loaded up. So in the downswing, you can now explode. Now, having a balanced follow through and looking really pretty and holding your finish really is all out the window when it comes to distance. You want to be able to just put the club on the ball in the center of the club face. That's number one impact location, huge, but with as much energy as possible. So if you fall through on the follow through, don't worry, it doesn't need to be balanced. All that matters is that you're making a biggest swing possible and producing the most centered strike possible with the highest amount of speed. If you can add those ingredients, you will have the recipe for long driving. You will hit your ball further, the ball will be closer to the green, a shorter approach shot, and you will be able to improve your scoring.